Coming up, funding rounds. Are we talking boxing? Is there somebody going down? I don't know. Find out in a second. I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've built a number of companies. I've been hired as a CEO, and I've even been fired as one. For example, Equinix is a company I took public in 2000, and now has a market cap of over $4 billion. In 2008, I was incredibly honored to have been selected as one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world. My goal is to pass on some of this knowledge to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by Audible. Liao, I hope I pronounced that right, from Brazil, living in New York, writes, what are funding rounds? Well, you know, good question. Funding rounds are, are generally the, uh, I guess you could call it the, the moments in time, <laughs> the events where you raise money. And they call them rounds because like boxing, uh, they happen one after another. Usually they're, they're lettered like alphabetically, A, B, C, et cetera. Um, they tend to refer to any one of these financial transactions. So other things that are considered funding rounds might be the seed round that happens very early or an IPO technically is a funding round because you're selling shares to the public and raising money for your company. All of these things are funding rounds and they have different characteristics. Typically an angel round or sometimes called a seed round, that's something that you've got an idea and when, when the investors are putting their money in, there's less rules about that money at that round because there's a lot of unanswered questions. We're kind of, we're speculating. Um, it's sort of, a, sort of a, an experiment. And they uh, expect to have great big returns when they happen to catch one. So, you know, like I've said before, when we talked about angels, these tend to be smaller investments, below a million dollars in total, sometimes, uh, you know, $10,000, $20,000, whatever. In any case, these seed rounds um, come in different forms. Sometimes they're based on just straight equity sale, sometimes convertible notes. The convertible notes is an interesting way of doing it because then what, what happens is you get that seed money and then later on that actually in the A round or the next round uh, that converts uh, to be um, a purchase at some kind of discount at that next round's pricing. So in any case, seed rounds happen pretty early in, this, in you know, A rounds are, are where things get a little more traditional. A rounds are typically where you bring in early stage venture capitalists. And A rounds are, uh, you know, usually where you set some of the precedents for all the later rounds. So this is where it's really important. Uh, definitely, you should do it at the seed round, but if you haven't done it yet, this is where you bring your corporate attorney in because you want to make sure that those terms are great in that initial term sheet for your A round. Uh, A rounds, uh, I know in my case, I've usually brought in many investors at the same time. But they could be a single investor as well. At Equinix, we had uh, Benchmark Capital, we had Cisco, we had Microsoft, I think Stanford University. Everybody invested in that initial A round, so it was a, a bunch of folks at the table and the investors got a board seat. So that was A. B rounds tend to be bigger, of course. Not always, but most often they tend to be growth, uh, uh, growth stage investments, meaning that the class of investor who comes in is usually expecting to see revenue growth, user growth, just you know, product success, uh, a certain amount of traction and momentum so that the, the company's been de-risked a certain amount. So these B round investors tend to have bigger funds behind them. They tend to write bigger checks, like 10, 20, 30 million dollar checks. That's where the B round comes in. So if you're getting to these late stage rounds, you're, you're really already successful and you shouldn't be watching my show. You're, you should be out there doing your thing because this is really about sort of early stage, first time entrepreneurs. And then you're getting into IPO land. That's kind of graduate coursework. So, um, so that's great if you're there. Um, and remember these rounds, they don't have any set rules. So when you're reading, you know, the, the newspaper or, or the blog and it says somebody got this valuation for this round, valuation numbers and rounds don't exactly correlate. But in any case, in a minute I'll give you some tips and tricks how to figure out what round to start with 
and also how to learn more about this stuff in just a second. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. With over 75,000 titles, you can find books in every genre, from science fiction, thriller, and drama, to comedy, business, and history. All books can be downloaded to your iPod MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. So go to audiblepodcast.com slash askj to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. I know that, for example, I downloaded Good to Great, Why Some Companies Make the Leap and Others Don't by Jim Collins. But you can get any book you like. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash askj for your free book. Okay, so today's homework assignment. Remember, you know, the, there is a difference between a seed round and an A round. And, and I'm oversimplifying a little, but the quickest way to figure out which of these things you should start with is based on, of course, how much money you need to raise. If you need to raise more than a million dollars, you're probably, uh, it's probably worth at least considering going the venture route and getting uh, an A round, so to speak. But remember, once you go with an A round, you're gonna have board members. And so seed rounds often, you can avoid that. A rounds, you need it. So make that decision up front, decide which of those uh, you wanna be in, and that can figure out whether you need to bother with that seed round at all. Um, and the second thing is, you know, these are complicated. Each of these rounds are an opportunity to introduce new terms, to uh, sort of, you know, shake things up a bit. You have a new investor coming to the table who says, I'm only gonna give you my money under these terms. And so it's really important to understand, particularly as you get to later rounds, the, the, the little details around term sheets. And I strongly recommend picking up a book by Brad Feld called Venture Deals. Uh, this is a brand new book. It was really well written by the, the guys at Foundry. Dick Costello writes a, a forward uh, in, the, in the book. It's a fantastic way to learn all about venture deals and sort of what goes on in the mind of a venture capitalist during these different rounds. So strongly recommend that as well. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much, but please keep your questions coming to askj at revision3.com. We need more of these questions. Bring them on. I love them uh, particularly. You know, keep them short. I've seen a lot of questions are, you know, entire business plans. I can't evaluate your business plan on the show. But um, feel free to send me a beer or t-shirts or anything you like, <laughs> but your questions are what I need the most. And you can also post them on YouTube as a video response or write them on Twitter to at Jay Adelson. Anyway, again, thank you for joining us and until next time.